So from the front of the house, we can walk up the side and we have a neighbor's house right beside us here. And what we're looking at here was the, uh, actually, the bottom half where the little door is was a pigsty. The wooden part was the so-called plumps clothes. So that was the toilet that they had, uh, I think before even the 70s, up to the 70s it would have been that way. And the top part was a, a chicken coop. And we can go up steps, so the house is built into the hillside. So the two vaulted cellars that are inside that we'll have a look later on. Um, are yeah, underground, so to speak, and then the first level backs out um, at ground level at the back. The building on the left is um, a pigsty originally. The bottom half was used as a pigsty and then later as a, a chicken coop as well. And the top part was actually a tobacco drying house. It's quite nice inside, but I don't think I'll be going up there uh, at the moment. I don't have the right shoes on. And um, yeah, the back of the house. So this is the uh, window into the living room at the back. And then, uh, yeah, there, there were, I guess, originally two doors here, so a bit of a step there at the moment. But uh, that was one of the back doors, and then where the double doors is there originally, uh, and at least we know as far as 1930s, there was uh, an oven built on the back of the house. So that would have been the back of the back kuche. The, for baking and stuff. Terribly sad it's not there anymore because it would have been great to have something like that. But they knocked it down and in the 70s built uh, an extension on the back of the house uh, to, to house the bathroom. So that really destroyed the, the roof structure there. So because it came quite far out, nearly touching the, the pigsty, it made the back of the house quite dark and not very open. So we knocked that down and uh, said we'd make room for a bathroom at a higher level so we built this uh yeah like a gable dormer which is quite fitting i think it much more sympathetic as somebody said to the structure of the building and uh the big device there is our heat pump which gives all the, the hot water and the heating for the house and then that's the gable wall of the bar on this side so that's also quite nice with the fuck work the half timbering and the little lean-to structure was a potato style. And I just noticed we left the window open yesterday, so there's plastering going on at the moment. <laughs> so to help it dry out, I guess. Yeah, so uh, from here then, <clears throat> the idea would be that the double doors are coming out from the kitchen, and that would lead then out onto, eventually would have a kind of a patio area here. Uh, in the past, that, uh, level where you can see the earth that stretched all the way to the the corner of the uh, the pigsty there and then there were steps going up so it was quite tight at the back of the house so when they were putting in a, um, a rainwater system which is underneath the patio area now uh, we got them to level out the whole area so eventually we we'll pave it and build a limestone or sandstone wall a retaining wall and then have like a path going up into the rest of the field some fruit trees there uh, just the sun shining through some cherry plum trees which last year we got 75 kilos of cherry plums which you kind of get sick of after a while but they're starting to ripen now and then there's some old pear and apple trees but they're really quite old and uh, yeah not bearing much fruit but pretty overgrown our plan to get some sheep in didn't work so uh, yeah I've got a job to do to cut all that stuff down and that's the back of the house